What is up guys, it's Raul TV, Team R for you well. We're back in the garage and what we're doing this time around is I've got a nice, nice, easy job for you guys. Do it outside your house, no problem. You don't even need the ramp to do it. You can do it on the floor, outside your house, nice and easy. Hooking you guys up, easy jobs. Right, I've got a BMW 1 Series here, 2014 116 diesel. It's a turbo one. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to replace the air conditioning compressor. The air conditioning compressor, uh, I could, what it is, it's the pulley that's uh, gone on it, but I don't want to go ahead and mess about with the pulley, replacing the pulley and everything. But he's got a second hand unit here, which I don't recommend. Put a brand new one on, but he's got a second hand one here. I'm going to go ahead and replace that one. Dead easy job, let's do it. Right, there's the engine 1.6 diesel okay it's the twin turbo one this one as well so what it is okay um, I've already made a little start on it but then I thought I'll do a video on it you know show you guys how to do it so basically we're gonna take these off these little clips on the air filter take that off take that off take that off move this wire to a side move that get that off the air, air flow meter Take that off, jubilee clip off, that pipe comes off as well, as you can see there. And that, it's only on rubbers here, as you can see one rubber there, one rubber here, one rubber on that side. All we do is just pull it off, just like that. And that, uh, we can gain access to the compressor, which I had a little mess about with before, but just over that. The next job for us is we're going to take the fan belt off, the serpentine belt which is not here okay but uh, I've took it off I'll put a picture uh, on the uh, on the video so you can see which way it goes on to take it off dead easy 16 mil go clockwise with this one on the tensioner it will slacken the belt and we'll just uh, take the belt off so after you've taken the belt off what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some room for ourselves okay so we'll take this pipe off okay Take this pipe off, this clip here, just flick it off and uh, this pipe should come straight off, we can move that out of the way and we'll move this throttle housing out of the way as well. Right, the pipe is off, I mean to take the pipe off, not rocket science guys, just flick the uh, clip, one minute, let me just show you guys, there's the pipe, just flick the clip, you know, upwards and uh, I know you can take it off completely by taking the black uh, clip off there but you don't have to do that all you do is get a flat screwdriver and all I did was just get it in there flick it up like that and when it's past that can you see it's coming off and that, that way it's all intact all you do when you come to put it back on you just clip it back on happy days just move that to a side put that down there so what we're going to do now is we'll take the I would say it's the throttle housing take that off to take in order to take that off dead easy one two three torques star torques I'll say it's ten size ten torques take them off that should come out of the way and then that way it's plain sailing you can see the uh, air conditioning compressor no problem whatsoever I mean as it is now you can probably do it there you know without taking the uh, throttle housing and everything off. but just for the sake of three bolts you might as well just take it off Right, da -da. we can get our hand to that now, no problem whatsoever. So what we do now is, uh, two things obviously. One is you need to release the gas for the uh, air conditioning compressor. So make sure you use the correct tool to release the gas. This car hasn't got gas in it whatsoever. Uh, I mean the gas and everything ran out on this one. So uh, I'm all right, all I'm gonna do is undo the pipes and uh, hopefully um, it should be all right. Right, my bad guys, uh, what I should have mentioned is we can't really get to that bolt here. I mean, we can maybe get to it, struggle. Let's just take that roller off here. Dead, dead easy. Torques, I think it's 45. Take that roller off and then that way we can gain access to that bolt. We'll take that bolt off. I mean, the pipes are down here and they've got like a size five or size six Allen key on the top, right? If you can get to it there, get a ratchet in there I think it's a struggle there so what we'll do we'll take the air conditioning compressor out so it comes forward a bit then that way we can get you know get at, get at them uh, nice and easy so 
let's take this off first. We'll take the two bolts off, Torx there. I'll mention the size, I'll show you the size as well. But that's gonna be a Torx 45 or a 50. Let's take that off. Right, that roller is off, as you can see. The guide pulley is off. We can get to that bolt, but still not 100%. So, Gravel TV, hooking you guys up. We'll make, it, we'll make your life even easier. We're gonna get 16 mil socket, spanner, whatever you want. We're gonna turn that clockwise. You'll see this little pin hole here. We'll line up with that pin hole there. And we're just gonna get a pin in there. Stop it from moving, secured and everything. Happy days, let's go. Right guys, as you can see there, I've put the pin there because I can't find the right pin to go through there, right? Okay, Raul TV, keeping it real. Uh, can't find that there, you know, the right pin to go through that and then into the tensioner. Um, so that will do, it's holding it for us. Put that pin there, that'll hold it, it's not going nowhere. And da-da, I can get to that get to that bolt get to the bottom one there let's take this bad boy off so the socket you need to take them bolts off is a Torx E12 there we have it star Torx yeah female so all we do now is I've already cracked it let's take that one off there's another one on the bottom and uh, that's it Right, there we have it guys, everything is off there, what I'm going to do now is take these two pipes off, uh, I thought they were uh, size 6 allen keys, they're not size 6 allen keys, I think this is Torx 30, take that one off, take that one off, bang them two off, and the compressor comes straight off, happy days, let's do it. Right, them two pipes are off. All we do now is, obviously, if you get two hands on it, it'll be nice and easy and to, for you to take it out. I'm going to try to do it with one hand, because I've got the camera on the other hand. Uh, no, I'll leave both hands on it. I'll have to move these pipes out of the way. So basically, move these pipes out of the way. That comes straight out. Let's replace it with a new one. Right, there's our second-hand new one kind of thing, okay? Don't blame me. I'm just a fitter here, right? It's a customer who wants a, obviously, obviously brand new one's going to be really expensive. So, can you see these little dowels kind of thing, spacers, yeah, put them, they're called spacers, yeah? We need to push them in a little bit, because when we come to fitting it, obviously it's a second hand one, it's been on another car before, and these have been pulled out with the bolt. So what we do is get the bolt on there, make sure you've got a surface underneath it, don't go just freestyle battering it like that, because these will crack off, okay? So only a cast aluminium, so make sure you've got a nice something underneath it and then put the bolt on tap them in they should go straight in all right so there we have it i push them in as much as i can it's not rocket science we're going to fit it in reverse order bang them on bang the pipes on first okay make sure the seals are all right on the pipe um, bang the pipes on first get, the, get it bolted on and uh, finish the job off reverse order let's go guys right i've got them two pipes back on Make sure you put the wiring plug back on as well. Not rocket science, just plug it on. Got them two bolts on, one there, one underneath there. Got them two back on. So what I'm gonna do now is the, just finger tight. So I'm gonna hand, uh, proper tighten them up and uh, finish everything off in reverse order. Put the air filter back on, put the fan belt back on and uh, yeah, put the throttle housing back on. So yeah, step by step. So what we do is put them two bolts back on Put the wiring uh, plug back on that's it right intercooler pipes cl clicked on throttle housing back on them three bolts are back on the belt is back on that's the way the belt goes on guys just take a little picture of that or when you're going to take it off just take a picture of it or take a diagram of it that way you're not struggling when you're going to put, put it back on all left to do now is we're going to put the air filter box back on the air intake box back on start it up and uh, let's see if it, uh, if it makes the noise the reason why i was doing the air conditioning compressor on this one is because the uh, the pulley was making a noise hopefully should cure it well that's it guys job done there we have it all running, sounds pretty nice as well and uh, yeah dead dead easy job.
the thing is it will take you about no more than about 10 15 minutes half an hour maximum it's just because i was showing you guys and you know uh, it took a little bit more longer than usual but if, if you attempt it out outside your house nothing to worry about dead dead easy job and uh, yeah sounds nice happy days so all it is now all i'm gonna say is like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell button for me leave a comment in the comment section raul tv hooking you guys up and i'll see you guys soon